Welcome to Automotive Legends. Today we are taking a closer look at one of the most iconic cars of the 1950s. The 1955 Chevy two-door. This classic beauty was a game changer when it was first released and it continues to be a beloved part of American automotive history. From its sleek design to its powerful performance, this car has it all. In this video, we'll be discussing the 1955 Chevy's design elements, performance capabilities, production history, cultural significance, restoration and maintenance tips, marketing value, racing history, and professional experience. So whether you're a car enthusiast or just a lover of nostalgia, this is the video for you. Let's dive in and take a look at the 1955 Chevy two-door. When it comes to design, the 1955 Chevy two-door is a truly a work of art. One of the most striking features of this car is the body style. With its long hood and its short deck, it has a sleek and sporty look that's hard to ignore. The car's grille is another standout feature. With its bold and imposing chrome design, the tail fins on the 1955 Chevy are iconic design elements too. 1955 Chevy body style was also noteworthy. It had a hard top coupe, a convertible, and a sedan. Each of them had its own unique characteristics and appeal. The hard top coupe has a sporty look while the convertible was more elegant and the sedan was more practical. In addition, the 1955 Chevy featured chrome assets such as chrome trim around the windows, which added a touch of luxury and style to the car. The 1955 Chevy two-door is a true testament to the automotive industry. What's new? Everything. The new Motoramic Chevrolet is new from the ground up. A completely new chassis brings a revolutionary new ride. Almost unbelievable riding smoothness. There's new power with Chevrolet's new Valvin Head Turbo Fire V8 engine and two new Blue Flame Sixes. New visibility in all directions with over 18% more total glass area, including a new sweep sight windshield. And new show car styling with a whole new design in bodies by Fisher, plus 43 distinctively different interiors. What's new? Everything. It's the Motoramic Chevrolet. The 1955 Chevy two door is a true testament to the design capabilities of Chevy brand, and its unique design features continue to make it a timeless classic. When it comes to performance, the 1955 Chevy two-door was a powerhouse of its time. It was available with a variety of powertrain options, including the 235 cubic inch six-cylinder engine and two V8 options, the 265 cubic inch and the 283 cubic inch. The, the V8 op options offered more power and speed, and they were the choice of many car enthusiasts. The 1955 Chevy was also available with a manual or an automatic transmission, giving the buyers the choice between sporty hands-on driving experience or a more relaxed, cruise-friendly option. The 1955 Chevy two-door was capable of reaching speeds of up to 115 miles an hour, and it could go from zero to 60 in just over 10 seconds. It was also known for its smooth and stable handling, making it a pleasure to drive on both the open road and in the city traffic. In addition, the 1955 Chevy had a great fuel economy for its time. It could get uh, around 20 miles per gallon on the highway and 15 miles per gallon on the in the city, which was pretty decent for a car of its size and power. The 1955 Chevy two-door is a true classic car, and its history is as interesting as its design. The car was first introduced in 1955 as part of a Chevy's, Chevy's brand lineup for the year. It was the second generation of the Chevy model, and it featured a number of updates and improvements over the previous models. One of the most significant changes in the 1955 Chevy was the introduction of the new V8 engine options. This gave the car more power and speed than ever before and it helped it to stand out in crowded markets. The 1955 Chevy two-door was also notable for its sleek and sporty design. The car tail fins, chrome accent, and bold grille helped it to give it a futuristic look that was 
very popular in 1950. The car was produced in the Chevrolet factory in Flint, Michigan, and it was also built in other locations such as Canada, and it was sold in different countries around the world. The 1955 Chevy was a hit with car buyers, and it was one of the best-selling cars of its year. This combination of performance and style and reliability made it a popular choice for both everyday drivers and car enthusiasts. Today, the 1955 Chevy two-door is considered a true classic car and is highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts. It's a piece of American automotive history that continues to be celebrated and admired. The 1955 Chevy is also a cultural icon of the 1950s. It represents an era of rock and roll, drive-in movies, and dinners. It's a car that is still loved and admired today, and it continues to inspire new generations of car enthusiasts. The 1955 Chevy two-door culture significance is undeniable. The process of restoring the 1955 Chevy two-door can be challenging, and it requires a great deal of skill and knowledge. Finding original parts can also be a big challenge, as some parts may not be produced anymore. Additionally, it can also be expensive, as it requires a lot of time and money to restore a classic car to its original condition. But, for some car enthusiasts, the end result is worth it, as it allows them to own and enjoy a piece of American history. Restoring a 1955 Chevy two-door can be challenging and rewarding experience, and it's a great way to preserve a piece of American history. Maintenance and preserving a classic car like the 1955 Chevy two-door requires a bit more care and attention than a modern car. Here are a few tips to help keep your classic car in top condition. Regular maintenance, of course. Everybody needs to do maintenance on just about everything you own, but here we go. Regular maintenance, just like any other car. Regular maintenance is critical to keeping your 1955 Chevy running smoothly. This includes things like changing the oil and the filters, checking the brakes and tires, and replacing worn out parts. Use the right fluids using the correct fluids and lubricants is essential for maintaining, maintaining a classic car. Always use the recommended oil, transmission fluid, and brake fluid to ensure optimum performance. Protect your car from the elements. When you're not driving your 1955 Chevy, it's important to store it in a dry and protected place. A garage is ideal, but if you don't have one, a car cover can help protect your car from the sun, rain, and other elements. Keep it clean. Regular washing and waxing of your 1955 Chevy will help protect the paint and keep the car looking best. By following these tips and taking good care of your 1955 Chevy two-door, you can help ensure that this classic car will continue to run smoothly and remain cherished for a long time to come. The value of the 1955 Chevy two-door has changed significantly over the years. When the car first was introduced in 1955, it had a starting price of around $1,800. Holy smoke, that is so hard to believe. Today, the value of the 1955 Chevy two-door can range anywhere from $20,000 to $100,000 or more, depending on the various factors. One of the biggest factors in the influence of the value of the 1955 Chevy two-door is its condition. Cars that have been well-preserved or restored to original condition. Cars that have all their original parts and are in original condition tend to be worth more than cars that have been modified or have replacement parts. The 1955 Chevy two-door, like many other classic American cars in the 1950s, has a rich racing history. The car's powerful V8 engine and sleek design made it a popular choice among racers of the time. The 1955 Chevy was mainly used in drag racing, where its powerful V8 engine and lightweight body were well suited. The car was available in, and achieved impressive times and speeds, making it a formidable competitor on the track. Daytona Beach, 1955. Chevrolet sets new all-time records for its class in stock car acceleration and flying mile competition. Darlington, South Carolina, Labor Day, 1955. The World Series of Stock Car Racing. A grueling 500-mile classic over this fast, grand national track. A thrilling race 
a thrilling winner, Chevrolet. A chance to display those outstanding performance features that are the trademark of a winner. And here are official NASCAR results written into the record book. Results that substantiate Chevrolet's claim to leadership on the racing strips, and thus also on the highways. In 1955, Fayetteville, North Carolina, Gardena, California, Flat Rock, Michigan, Toronto, Canada, Baltimore, Atlanta, and 11 other short track wins for Chevrolet. In, a, in addition, the 1955 Chevy was also used in other types of motorsports, such as stock car racing, where it was a popular brand in the lower divisions and in local tracks. It was also used in road racing where stability and handling capabilities helped it to perform very well. The 1955 Chevy was also popular among hot rodders. They would modify the car to improve its performance and make it faster. This included adding bigger engines, custom exhaust, suspensions upgrades, valley, and more. It's also important to note car. that the 1955 Chevy didn't have a factory race team. It was mainly modified and raced by privateers and enthusiasts. Overall, the 1955 two-door was a popular choice among racers of all time. Overall, the 1955 Chevy two-door was popular choice among racers of the time, and its com combination of power and style made it affordable competitor on the racetrack. Even today, the 1955 continues to be a popular choice among car enthusiasts who enjoy vintage racing. When it comes to classic cars of the 1950s, the 1955 Chevy two-door is one of the most iconic and recognizable. However, it is not the only car that was popular during this era. One of the main competitors of the 1955 Chevy was the Ford Thunderbird, which was first introduced in 1955 as well. The Thunderbird was a two-seat roadster, and it was more luxurious and stylish than the 1955 Chevy. It was also more expensive, and it had a smaller engine, but it was still a powerful car. Another popular car of the same era was the Plymouth Belvedere which was introduced in 1951. The Belvedere was a mid-sized car that was known for its smooth ride and comfortable interior. It was also available with a V8 engine, which made it popular choice among car enthusiasts. The 1955 Chevy also competed with the Oldsmobile 88, which was, which was also a mid-sized car, and it was known for its powerful V8 engine. The Oldsmobile 88 was also a popular choice among car enthusiasts and it was also used in racing. All these cars have their own unique characteristics. The 1955 was known for its sporty look, powerful V8 engine, and its affordability. While the Ford Thunderbird was known for its luxury and style, the Plymouth Belvedere was known for its comfort and the Olds 88 was for its performance. Each of these cars had its own appeal and it's a matter of personal preference. The 1955 Chevy two-door However, it is considered to be one of the most iconic cars of the 1950s and continues to be a beloved classic among car enthusiasts and collectors. The 1955 Chevy two-door is a true classic car that's known for its style, performance, and re reliability. It's a car that's often phrased for its smooth and stable handling, as well as a powerful V8 engine. The car has a sporty look, and it's favored among the car enthusiasts and collectors. We hope you enjoyed learning about the 1955 Chevy two-door, one of the most iconic and recognizable classic cars of all times. From its unique design features and its powerful performance capabilities to its rich racing history of the 1955, it has it all. We hope this video has sparked your interest in the classic car and you've learned something new. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel, Automotive Legends. Bye-bye.